my sport has definitely changed a lot for female athletes. Uh, I think that what it's allowed to do is that females can actually challenge their strengths. Um, they are more thinking about what they can do versus how they look like. They're not afraid to be strong and they're not afraid to putting it all out there because of what society thinks that they should look like or behave like. So I think that we're normalizing the female body image and also we're we're putting the line higher of what we're capable of doing. I was a part of the, the female the female discussions and uh, and I learned so much, so there were different speakers talking about the hormonal stages and also that all the algorithm that we compare our data to is from males versus females, which is very interesting. How to get the best performance for being a female athlete and having to deal with different things that males have to deal with, so sleep and... and um, like how can you improve your sleep when you're on a specific uh, cycle? Like are you in week two and that's when pr progesterone, progesterone, I don't know how to say it in English, <laughs> it's like at its peak and it's keeping you awake, it's getting your body temperature higher. How can you uh, use nutrition to help with that? So it's, it's just learning all those small things that can help you get better.